We'll do it again. Thanks, Kara. All right. No job, no money, and a family of five that once was thriving in a middle-class environment is now forced to live with a neighbor in a single bedroom. Our Poppy Harlow is taking a look at this family that's living with long-term unemployment. <laughs> One room, now home to a family of five. We have the two girls who sleep on the bottom, mm -hmm. Iman and Isis, and then Nasir, our oldest, he sleeps on the top. Mom and dad somehow managed to sleep together on the couch. Most of the time, honestly, I lay on top of him. <laughs> Iman, the littlest one, the Nasir. If you I think you know what long-term unemployment can look like, why don't you come in the kitchen? Think sister, again. Sisters. You can't understand something until you lived it. Adam and Talia Mobley brought in more than $100,000 just two years ago. By all measures, middle class, until they were both laid off. Frightening new numbers show 50% of the unemployed in New Jersey have been out of work for more than six months. And it's a similar story elsewhere. I was a lead technician for Comcast. You had it made? Yeah, I had it made. I was customer service rep. What's the hardest element of this situation that you think people might not know? It's definitely not financial. It's emotional. If you're not strong people, um, it could, um, it could, buckle it could break things. you. Yeah. yeah. No, you're not paying my game, The Mobley's unemployment checks have run out, and they've exhausted their savings. Only benefits that we get from the state right now is uh, assistance with the food. Human Services of Morris County, New Jersey, where the Mobleys live, has seen their food stamp caseload surge 140 percent since 2007. Seeing dually unemployed families, that's unusual for us. So the bottom's falling out of the middle class. Mm -hmm. I believe that. Have you seen something like this before? No, not like this, never. And I've been here since 1980. This is one of the wealthiest counties in America, where the median household brings in over $91,000 a year. But when you can't find a job here, you can't get by. You send out a lot of resumes, you pray to God someone gets back to you. 500 resumes later, nobody has offered to Leah a job. How long do you think you can go on like this? Uh, Honestly, not very much longer. What's up with you? How's work? Afternoons are spent at grandma's with their three kids. <laughs> then it's back to Laura Sullivan's house, where they're living rent-free. All right, you tacos, I'll get pizza. All right. She took them in after knowing the Mobleys less than a year. People ask, like, why would you take someone in and you have no privacy? I'm like, honestly, you want to put compare my privacy to a family not having a home? Like, is there any comparison? What, what does that say? It's far from ideal. But when you've been out of work this long, there's no room for ideal. Poppy joining me now live from New York. Poppy, do Adam and Talia have any leads on jobs yet? Talia has a lead. Um, she, what was so interesting about this, Kira, is that she went back to school. When she lost her job, she retrained in healthcare as a certified medical assistant because she was told by so many people, healthcare is where the jobs are. She's done a number of interviews. The morning we spoke with her, she had a second round interview. So she's waiting right now to hear back on that. On that. Adam has not had leads, so he and his brother started a t-shirt company together, but they can't get the funding to really get it off the ground. I think the issue is here, you think about what is long-term unemployment, and it doesn't necessarily stick with you until you see a family like that living in a room all together, a family that never expected to be here just a few years ago, Kara. Yeah, and more families uh, struggling in so the many. exact same way. Poppy, yeah. thanks so much.